One of the most confusing decisions in the selection of a large format LED display is what kind of diode you should use for your particular application. There is an alphabet soup of choices, and unless it's something you're thinking about on a regular basis, it can seem frustrating and difficult. I'm here to tell you it's not nearly as complicated as you might think, and you can learn it in just a couple of minutes. Welcome back to the LED revolution. First, let's talk outdoor, because you only have two choices there. The first choice is through hole technology. This is where independent red, green, and blue diodes make up a single pixel. It's called through hole because the diodes are inserted through the display mask. Through hole is the original LED technology, and it's still occasionally seen in billboards and sports applications, but it's becoming less and less prevalent. It's bright and reliable, but it is definitely last generation technology. The second type of outdoor display is SMD, or surface mounted device. SMDs contain all three colored diodes in a single package, and they're mounted to the surface of the circuit board. As of now, these are the standard diode types in both indoor and outdoor displays. They're bright and reliable, but in addition, they can be used for tighter pitch displays, allowing more vibrant, higher resolution projects. They also allow for integrated monitoring and analysis due to the additional tech that can be packed into the accompanying chips. SMD displays can range from 400 to 1200 nits for interior displays and up to 12,000 nits for exterior displays, but are more commonly in the range of 6,500 nits. As we move indoors, we have options for variations on the SMDs that depending on your application can make a great project amazing. First is GOB, glue on board. GOB displays at a layer of epoxy over the SMD diodes, making standard displays more durable for high traffic areas, and even allowing them to be used as touchscreens. In some cases, the GOB coating can also greatly increase the contrast ratio and therefore image quality if the epoxy is well engineered. Next is flip chip. SMDs are soldered to the circuit board using microscopic wires. Electricity in LED displays is expressed through either heat or light. The electricity carried through these wires creates heat and reduces the amount that can be used for light. Flip chip displays literally flip the SMD diode over and get soldered directly to the circuit board, eliminating the bonding wires. Flip chip displays are brighter, reaching up to 2,500 nits, and well-engineered displays are also cool to the touch, making HVAC considerations a thing of the past. Finally, we have COB or micro LED displays. These diodes are a fraction of the size of SMDs, down to 0.1 millimeters on a side, and have just as much technology packed into them. Instead of being soldered to the circuit board, they're embedded in the substrate of the circuit board. This increases black space in between the diodes, and the barely visible diodes themselves create stunning image quality. COB displays are also typically used in conjunction with a GOB coating and are frequently used in a flip chip configuration, giving you a top of the line experience and best in class image. Every application is different and careful considerations of project needs will help you understand exactly what technology is needed to make your next project stand out to its highest potential. Join us next time when we talk about brightness.